Alright, welcome to uh, programming a uh, net screen device. Uh, we're going to be working on uh, SSG5. And uh, it's a Juniper product. Um, it's a good product uh, years now. And uh, it's great for small businesses. So this is a way to program your SSG5. A couple of tools I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to show you the actual serial connection uh, so you can actually see the net screen device as it's booting up and also you can see some of the commands going through that part of it but mostly it'll all be web based so I'm going to plug that in and you'll have to excuse me I've had a cold and I'm going to go ahead and plug in the network when it comes out it actually has DHCP straight out of the box. Uh, now if you're interested in, if you get one, you buy one and it's got some programming on it, uh, the reset button is available to you. Uh, a couple things you can do uh, is to download PuTTY, just do a search for PuTTY, it's a PuTTY.exe and I created a, I just downloaded it to my desktop and uh, it's a great product to command, uh, command line stuff or uh, see what's going on. All right, let's go ahead and get our notes together so you kind of know what uh, what you're looking for. Uh, a couple things, if you're a small business, uh, try to get a static IP address from your company uh, that you get your ISP service or your internet providing service from. So uh, you're going to need that information. So let's say uh, you're... Uh, always remember that the outside IP address is the untrust, on the inside is called the trust. So, um, untrust information. Okay, I've got all my information now. Alright, and this is a work network. Alright. Now we can go to HTTP. 192.168.1.1 that is ready now for the configuration this is the very beginning so we're going to do the wizard next uh, your password so we're going to create a password on this and just create net screen net screen Untrust zone is on Ethernet 00, 0 and nothing on 0, 01. And the trust is everything on the on the everything else. So I'm gonna have a static IP address here. This is the information that is provided by your provider. And you do not want DHCP, or do you? Most generally, on a small business, if you have like a small business server that's doing all that, uh, that's normal. You can select it. Go ahead and have your DHCP addressing. So it will assign your DHCP. It will take care of your addressing on the inside. So you can then put your IP address information for DNS information, I mean. This one, we're not going to do DHCP address. Okay, so now it's going to reboot. And since it's not going to have DHCP addressing, we're going to need to statically assign our IP address. 